What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Now because of the amount of returning Exile 6 to Destiny 2 from Destiny 1, I thought it would be fun to do a top 5 of my most wanted. Now people, although this is my opinion, I do want to hear yours too. Hence why in the video description there is a poll of all the exotic weapons in the game. Go there and vote for the one you'd most like to see make a return and I'll do another video in the near future. I also have polls for Warlock Hunter and Titan Exotic Armors too, so vote for the three you'd most like to see make a return there also. Links can be found within the video description. Okay, so let's start. So at 5 we have a weapon which dominated year 1 of PvP, well a few months of it, and that is the Serious Regime. Now this weapon within that year 1 era was the sole reason for auto rifles being nerfed into the ground. It was this exotic which everyone abused and it ended up ruining PvP for me as a whole as I loved auto rifles. They were my go to weapons in Destiny 1 and they are my go to weapons in Destiny 2. Destiny 2's PvP feels so much better the way it used to be in Destiny 1 until people complained about the Surus. It then received a nerf along with every other auto rifle and in my opinion they never recovered. In Destiny 2 though it's a different story altogether. Some of the best weapons still in the game are auto rifles which is great. And it's for this very reason I love to see the Surus regime make a comeback. I'd love to see the impact it has on PvP in its current state now. In my opinion that would be great. At 4 we have the last word, now the reason I want to see this return is because I didn't really use it within Destiny 1 but it was a weapon in my opinion which took a lot of skill to use, you were either good with it or absolutely terrible, I was terrible and that's because I never gave it a chance. I knew that it took skill to master and it's for this very reason I'd love to see it return, I'd love to try and master it. Some people I saw using this were absolute beasts, I however couldn't even hit a headshot, it's a weapon which in my opinion took true skill to use and there ain't many of them in the game in my opinion. At 3 we have nothing other than the Icebreaker. Now the Icebreaker is one of my all time favourite exotics ever. It was used and abused in many ways, it received all kind of nerfs but still stood strong at the end of the game. It is a true exotic weapon in my opinion. Because of its auto ammo regen it meant and made many activities in the game a lot easier to do. Not that it's a good thing I'm just saying, in PvP in year 3 it was great due to the lack of special ammo that spawned. Now if I had to put my money on a weapon from this list, actually making a return though, this would be my least favoured one due to the issues and problems it caused Bungie by making their game way too easy. Much like the Galhorn, a weapon not actually on my list as you'd probably expect. It made things way too easy too, so as much as I'd love to see the Icebreaker make a return, I doubt it would ever happen. At 2 we have my favourite exotic ever and that is the No Land Beyond, the primary exotic sniper rifle. This was just amazing. It was a weapon that just felt so rewarding to get a kill with and because of what it is, a primary sniper, it was a true exotic. Bungie did end up nerfing it and giving it a major flinch under fire while using it but even after that in my opinion it was still super great and super fun to use. In terms of how it would work in Destiny 2, Destiny 2 is really fast paced and a weapon like this really isn't built for that but in saying that you would have the option to basically pair it with another primary weapon and this could be considered a little OP. So will it return? I doubt it. Should it return? Heck yes. At 1 and this will probably surprise you all and it's nothing other than the Pocky Infinity. Most people that started the game a little late won't even know about this weapon. It's basically the original Merciless, a fusion rifle that fires faster as it went through its clip. Bungie then nerfed this into the ground due to people complaining about it I guess and it never made a return. It was one of only a few weapons which never actually received revival in year 2 where most year 1 exotics were upgraded. The pocket infinity was left behind. A lot of people including myself never actually knew the reason behind it. Yes in the first place a nerf was probably needed but they broke the weapon with that nerf. The typical Bungie don't know how to nerf and buff things came into effect here and the weapon was basically no more. It's like the creator of the game had something against the designer of this weapon. But yes, the Pocket Infinity I would love to see back. Not because of the weapon itself, but because it was left out by Bungie and Bungie tried to make us forget about it. Obviously they don't know us, we would never forget a true exotic weapon. And guys, that is it for the video, my 5 most wanted exotics. 
Remember to vote for your favourite exotics within the links within the video description. And on that note, people, I am out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support. And hopefully I will see you on my next video.